great opportunity for you to learn more about future career fields and ask questions. They, I know that adults say this all the time, there's no stupid question but the one you don't ask, but today we really need that. So if you are in a room talking to somebody and you want to know not how much they make, but do they make a lot of money because money is a motivator, let's ask that, right? Like this event is really about you building relationships with people that will tell you what it's really like to be in certain career fields. Probably haven't been to something like this before, but it's all about what you're gonna make it today, okay? And I am here at Miller, where I am, I manage the product development for women's apparel at Amazon. Um, and you're probably wondering what does product development mean? So I manage the women's brand, so I don't know if you've ever heard of Amazon Essentials, Good Threads, um, Clark and Row, Daily Ritual, um, these are women-owned brands, and part of my job is managing uh, some of the best product developers and getting uh, clothing to the customer in a fast and quick way, and at a cost that is profitable for Amazon, but at a cost that the customers love. Um, as everyone mentioned, my name is Rod Johnson, co-founder and CMO of Black & Bold Specialty Beverages, or Specialty Coffee, depends on your preference. Um, we're a coffee roastery that's located in Des Moines, Iowa, so just down the road, um, that um, lives in the, the overlap of where specialty coffee meets community impact. Um, so my business partner, Pernell Cesar, who actually is a graduate of UNI, um, and I started this business about four years ago um, because we wanted to do something different. We were doing the normal nine to five. Pernell worked for um, Target Corporation or Target Headquarters um, and a few other small businesses while I took the nonprofit route and was raising money for colleges, universities, and healthcare institutions. And ultimately, we, we hit that glass ceiling. Um, we were trying to find more fulfillment and decided that we would tap into the things that we had developed over the past 10 years to build a business um, and, and using our everyday habits uh, or keeping our everyday habits at the core of said business. Um, neither Pernell or I had any real experience in coffee. We just drank a lot of coffee and tea um, and spent a lot of time in coffee shops. And um, I encourage you all, if you have any interests or aspirations to start your own business or um, look into a side hustle that you um, take some self inventory of your own personal interests because that will um, propel you on those tough days. Uh, I'm here to tell you it, it is an uphill battle. Uh, it certainly isn't a walk in the park and it's going to require you to be dedicated and committed uh, in order to bring those dreams uh, to fruition. Stay motivated. Like, I think that's really, really key. Like, stay motivated, stay inspired, and dream big. Like, we are in this space right now on UNI's campus, but there's a whole world out there. So don't limit yourself to just one place, one spot. Like, if you wanna run in the Olympics, you can do it. <laughs> With planning and preparation, like you can do anything you set your mind to. I know it sounds cliche, but it, I've lived it. Like, it's, it's facts. <laughs> um, so dream big, stay motivated, and um, you'll see the fruits of your labor. Just stay open-minded, right? And don't pigeonhole yourself into, uh, as Kiara said, one idea. Um, success comes in many different forms. I got my degree in criminal justice. I had a 10-plus year career as a nonprofit fundraiser, and now I sell coffee, right? So it's like there is no one route to success, um, and I encourage you guys to be nimble as you think about what, what your path is that you want to take. Obviously, you all have interests, right? Things that pique your interest. So, like, what do you guys think an associate producer does? Like, can anybody raise their hand and say what they think an associate producer might do? My background is in communications, PR, marketing, um, nonprofit administrative work. My biggest thing for me is legacy building. So to be able to provide a legacy and a living for my children and my family, 
um, it's, it's vital for me. I was using my nine to five to fund the five to nine. So I was going to work every day and uh, work with someone else, but then you know, working on black and bold in my free time, essentially, and taking my steady paycheck to fund this, this idea uh, that, that now exists. get those kids that are specifically interested um, into you know our programs and just learning about our programs um, just to give them a heads up if they're thinking about maybe going into the Career Center for instance or going into uh, Hawkeye or UNI or other sorts of computer science programs. Um, I will tell you all be an advocate for yourself when you go through all the stages of your next steps in your career, whether it's just exploring it as a volunteer, to you wanting to run and operate your own business, or pursue, let's say, a teaching position, or wanting to be a director. The best feeling is the impact that you make doing your job. into this room. I never touched a sewing machine in my life. So if you are interested in fashion, you could always kind of like start right now and like, you know, start practicing or just like learning how to use it. But Dr. Moore quite literally taught me every single thing I knew. So just know it's not like limited to just one thing. There's also people who are like fashion trend forecasters. So you look at trends. Oh, you got prints on. in like, yeah, happen next season. And then you tell everyone like, oh, this is what everyone's going to buy. They're going to buy animal print like this fall. Like we have to get a bunch of that. So there's a lot of other yeah, jobs. Yeah, this stuff is um, really trendy right yeah, now. It's Cute. I really like it. <laughs> but yeah, so there's a lot okay, of Okay, let's jobs. go in the la in the testing lab. Master, hopefully light some sort of an interest into what we do. So like we're all in different facets of John Deere and we have a lot of different career choices within that scope. So I want to understand I came in, like I said, as a wage worker and now I am a project manager. So there's always gonna be different doors and hurdles you have to go through, but hopefully these activities uh, exploring other options uh, through the STEM process and all those things will give you guys an opportunity to kind of create what you want to do when you finish high school and on into college and college is the path. trained up and ready to go, um, even at a younger age um, than we currently are. And so getting high schoolers excited about IT and then moving that into careers and uh, jobs is going to be important. Uh, Jansen Austin, quality engineer, uh, John Deere drive training. Uh, so today uh, we work with the students from Waterloo East and Waterloo West. Um, shout out to SHIP. Uh, we did marshmallow towers with the students just to teach them about teamwork and engineering principles. Uh, yeah, today was a good opportunity for us to reach out to them uh, so they can learn about us and for us to give them an opportunity to learn about what we do as engineers. Hi everyone, my name is Sashe. Today I participated in a panel for SHIP about communication studies and art. I think that SHIP is important because it prepares students for a career and even gets the thoughts going about what career they want to go into and why it's important. And I think it can help them find meaning within the things that they're doing right now. All right, my name is AJ Reading, and uh, today we just uh, talked with the shift kids um, from East and West Waterloo, um, and I talked to them today about kind of the things that they love to do and their passions, and then how they can connect that to their work. 
Um, we also just talked about some entrepreneurial stuff. Um, we talked a little bit about some like uh, exponential curves and kind of how you can invest money and end up um, making money in the long run and compound interest and stuff like that. Um, it was super fun and I really enjoyed it. Um, I've loved everything that uh, Shift has done um, and I hope to come back and continue to keep on inspiring and helping and encouraging uh, just all of the kids um, just that are part of the program. Uh, I think it's a really cool program and I can definitely tell that there are sparks kind of being uh, lit and that really excites me and motivates me to continue to be part of this program. Um, and I just really hope that there is kind of more of that moving forward. So, um, yeah, it was a great experience overall. I really enjoyed it. It was interactive. Uh, a lot of good questions, a lot of good connections being made, even in my mind, as well as their minds, uh, that I hope is um, continuing. My name is Tiani Carrasco. Uh, today at SHIFT we had a small group discussion about uh, nonprofits and human services. Uh, my hope for the group was that they kind of really hone into what they're naturally good at um, and if they do have that, that uh, desire to help without um, being paid the maximum amount. That's kind of the discussion we had today. So about finding your strengths and really utilizing them and honing into them. Marcy CD and I am the STEM coordinator here at the University of Northern Iowa and my goal for today is that I want, I'm a Waterloo native and I want the students of Waterloo and the Cedar Valley to know that they can follow dreams whatever they are. I started wanting to work for NASA when I was in fourth grade and I found out that I could work for NASA right here in the Cedar Valley um, doing teacher professional development and connecting scientists from NASA to teachers. So I hope others are able to find whatever their dreams are. Hi, my name is Jasmine. Today with the students, I was a part of the Communication, Arts, and IT. Um, in our session, we talked a lot about how social media has impacted the field of communications and how we hope to leverage social media in order to modernize the field of communications and to also use social media as a tool to make sure that marginalized folks have their stories told, in particular on platforms where um, you know, there's typically a certain narrative of whose people's stories are told. Um, I hope that SHIFT is able to continue to collaborate with students um, so that students are able to sort of figure out the multitude of jobs and uh, career fields that you can go into as it relates to communications, arts, and IT. And I hope that SHIFT is able to elevate those students' voices, in particular students of color. Rod Johnson, co-founder and CMO of Black and Bold Specialty Beverages. I had the opportunity today to talk to a bunch of students about my own personal uh, and professional career trajectory, um, and I'm hoping that that was able to inspire uh, someone to, to realize their, their own potential, which is my, my ultimate goal um, for, for showing up. Uh, if I can share a little bit of my own journey with the hopes that it can uh, help someone else avoid different landmines and, and hurdles that they may encounter, then, then we're, we're doing our job here. So again, I, I appreciate you all for having me, and I look forward to the next time. My name is Ms. Dale, and I was with the fashion part of this, of this program, and I thought it went extremely well today. The children were very engaged and had a great time. Uh, my hope for SHIFT is that it continues, and this year was the best yet. So. My name is Katie Soames. I am the Associate Director of the Nonprofit Leadership Alliance at UNI. And something I'm really passionate about is mar uplifting marginalized communities. So this experience was great to kind of see the event planning side of it and learning how to manage ta different tasks while putting on a large event for an educational purpose for these kids. Hi, my name is Peyton Ehrensdorf and I'm a member of the Nonprofit Leadership Alliance. And we're currently working on some different fundraising things and event planning. I think SHIFT offered us an amazing opportunity as college students to really get hands-on work um, in the nonprofit sector. I don't think we would have gotten that at a different university or with a different or organization. We really got to dive into um, what it's like to work in the sector and um, what happens behind the scenes and you don't always get that um, experience and I thought it was amazing just to see what it's all about. and what I'm going to do in the future, so yeah. Hi, my name is Sierra Rudin, and I am a part of the community engagement team where I have gotten to lead the SHIFT um, service project for NLA. Um, I think the experience was really helpful and really important because it gives you 
an inside scoop to actually what goes on in the nonprofit sector. Um, it's not just all the little th all the things that you see on the surface as a volunteer, but there's a lot of ins and outs that happen um, within the organization and the service projects that um, go on that you just wouldn't really have any experience with or know or understand if you weren't um, a part of that. And so getting to um, lead the volunteers and manage that throughout the event gave me a lot of more inside suit of really what goes on in those events. And then getting to work with SHIFT um, on just like there, just all the things that happen after and before the event that you just don't think about, like thank you letters and um, volunteer recruitment and all the management that goes into that um, was really helpful just to understand kind of all the things that encompass the nonprofit. Um, and that just really helped me understand what I was getting myself into going into the nonprofit um, sector. Um, so I wasn't uh, startled when I got in there and I knew what I was going for. So yeah, I thought it was really helpful and really important. Some of my interests involve um, video making, editing, and all things like that. Um, I'm really interested in making videos and stuff, and hopefully in the future um, I can pursue um, a digital mass media major and then hopefully become a videographer. I first started off with Shift in the entrepreneurial discovery series, and through that um, I was one of um, four, or one of three students who helped create a grassroots organization called UNI Care, and with the help of some other mentors and a college student, um, we developed that program. And it was very um, um, uplifting. It was very motivating as we did help a lot of people within the community. Um, and it was a mental health organization that was a resource that anyone could use within the community or out of the community. We had people from all over the world participating, so it was pretty enjoyable during my time. And then moving forward from that, I recall doing the summer internship program. And through that, I remember doing financial literacy, marketing work, and then kind of developing or understanding what your skills, strengths, and weaknesses are and how, we, how to make those better. So the shift experiences are important for me because it's given me um, the opportunity to connect with a lot of new people within the community and out of the community that's helping me move forward both in my educational journey and career journey. Um, I've met people from MIT, um, I've met people from John Deere um, and other big corporations and companies that are all assisting me um, moving forward. There's a lot of people I can ask for letters of recommendations for and I'm also provided internships and such so I'm given a lot of opportunities and it's really important to me because moving forward um, some of these internships are related to my videography dreams and goals. I have interest in health sciences. I first started at Hy-Vee and then I joined the SHIFT summer internship at Unity Point and uh, within, within the lab in the lab office and um, at first I wanted to become a lab tech but now um, I have interest in psychiatry so health sciences is still within the area but SHIFT has helped me learn what my interests are. Uh, SHIFT has helped me develop soft skills by networking with people and communicating better, uh, learning different skills and um, just talking in general and um, being able to reach out to people such as emailing and um, uh, learning how to create a better resume, different things like that, and being able to um, take more opportunities and learn from other people. Shift is important to students like me because like, it's a lot of students that don't get the chance to get the opportunities that they want to have. And it's hard because like they don't know who to talk to or how to get them opportunities. And I know that because I was that student before until I moved down here, so.